<laughs> Let's go. That is unfortunate. I apologize, but my mic is on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finale, the rematch of the day. It's Enigma versus Vikings GG in a best of five slugfest. I am General Jeevicus. The game is just loading in. Here we go! Free intro? I believe so. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome Five back to the We Play Bukevo Minor 2020 EU Grand Final Viking GG versus Nygma! In a best of five, the draft is already underway. I am General Jeevikus, follow me at Jeeves, uh, no, Twitch TV slash Jeeves, Dota TV. This draft is already underway, and as I said, this is a rematch from last night. Where Viking were able to disable Nigma in a best of three, but this is Nigma. These guys were born in best of fives. Team ban. Dire team ban. Rubik Tiny. Tiny, of course. Toby's hero, right? No, no, Aramis. Seconds remaining. Sit back and get comfy. I think it might be a five game series, lads. Into Wyvern Bound. Oh, Miracle. Miracle back to the safe lane, maybe? Radiant team ban. Jane. <laughs> team Damn, got the cough on today. We're gonna get the Nature's Prophet pick ban even as well. Nigma with first pick. They banned the Chen themselves. Yo, Madoc, welcome back. We are back for the Grand Finals, just as promised. It's going to be a Vengeful Spirit into an Instant Task Crystal Maiden Jewel pickup. Ten 
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Destroyer. Scare bear. I thought it was I thought Marco was back to, to save Langees. Radiant team ban. Miracle mid, eh? Dire team ban. They'll ban and Joker. They saw the last series. They're not having any of that. The dry ban comes out. Hmm. Tinker. Ten seconds remaining. Pick your poison is the name of the game. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. Vino Mancer. Seconds remaining. Uh, Five seconds remaining. Is it gonna work out though? They ban out the Venom Monster. You can't just play Ursa all through games, right? It's not gonna work. Beastmaster. Dire team pick. Tanner. This will be Toby Beastmaster, of course. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Alright, GH Elder Titan. GH Elder Titan. Well, I don't know, I did see GH playing Elder Titan in some pubs yesterday. Uh, the Gyrocopter, that's decent. It's a nice counter pick. Not really a counter pick as such. It's good against Ursa, but it's also good against Beastmasters. Basically covering their own bases there. Seconds remaining. Squad guys. Five <laughs> seconds remaining. Ibisal Underlord for mind control. Hmm. Hmm. What do we think about this trap for? Nigma, Nigma, what Ten you seconds think? remaining. Five seconds remaining. Final ban, Jeeves. What's it going to be? Well, they're still focusing on mid heroes, so I imagine there's something else that Miracle plays. Could be a big debate, though. Could be Ursa on the safe lane. You're not going to go back for. Um, don't think Brood or Meepo are good here. They'll ban the Shadow Fiend. Alright. 
Three bonds for Miracle. We're getting Monkey King versus Chido. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Final bond. And who's picking last? It's Viking GG they're picking last. Could they get me pulled? Like, could they drop a meeple or something rude like? Hmm. They don't have much wave clear. They'll ban out the OD. Does that mean they're going for Silencer? Miracle Silencer. Miracle Quap. We hunt Windranger. <coughs> <laughs> There's no fuck up strat. Ah, uh, <laughs> SF's banned, bro. Five seconds remaining. Could be Tinker. Could just put Ursa on Miracle, pick up the Weeha Ranger, maybe. Could be Quap. Well, I mean, it, I mean, it fits the dynamic. It's a mobile hero, like good in mid. They did ban out the OD, so maybe we've seen that coming. What do they pick in return, though? Something can deal with Storm Spirit. Maybe just pick up the Pugna. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. What about the DK for Viking, actually? I'm trying to remember what Tanner played. Tanner kicked off against them on Storm Spirit, actually. I remember that. He actually... I mean, I think he had a shit lane, or, like, he was pressured at one point, but then he comes back with, like, triple kill after triple kill. We all got that Friday feeling, guys. Is this Mad Friday that I keep hearing about? Final pick. Let's see what was banned out. What do you want here? Maybe Silencer is the play. Maybe you put Gyro mid, go for another stage. Gyro versus Storm mid. I think Storm comes out ahead after level 5. Um, hmm. DK feels like he's going to get gone on. Ember Spirit. Does Tanner play Ember Spirit? Brood. Could be Brood. Could be Brood. Like I say, they don't have much. They have the Elder Titan Stomp. They have the Wail of Terror. Ursa's Blink Bash thing now with the Earth Shock. Underlord. The Pit of Malice and the Firestorm. Storm Spirit. With the Remnant. Yeah, it could be. Unka. Oh, right. I mean, that feels pretty decent, I have to say. It's going to be able to bring back the Storm Spirit. So, this is the We Play Bukovo Minor 2020 EU Closed Qualifiers Grand Finals Viking versus Nigma. Game 1. Best of 5. I am General Jeevgis on Viking. It will be Armus on the Tusk. It will be Celery on the Crystal Maiden. Toby on the Beastmaster. Shad on the Gyrocopter. And Tanner on the Kunka. UK Pride. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Over on Nigma, it'll be Kuroki on the Ventral Spirit, We on the Ursa, GH on the Elder Titan, Mind on the Underlord, and Miracle on the Mid Storm Spirit. All right, those are your teams. Let's get our Dota 2 on. Who's going to win game one, Jeeves? I feel like it's about execution, lads. But we do have Weeha once again on the Ursa.
I believe that's called a puddle. Don't think one hero is a pool. <laughs> Um, I think it's fine just now. I think they just need to figure out some more heroes that we can play and are good. What you gonna do if they ban the Ursa boys? Kunka! 11 commands in 15 matches! 10 commands and 25. Oh, Kunkka wins it on the commands. That's surprising. Okay. I was expecting. Many more. Oh, you're all, you're all washed up. Hang them with the washed up. Hang them with the old tea time, eh? 52% advantage for the Radiant. Ooh, I guess, I guess. I guess they have the mango advantage. How many mangoes on celery? Three big boy mangoes. Kuro has two. One. Oh, GH. Oh, it's Nigma. So it is three versus three, right? Yeah. Even on the mangoes to start things off. Look, this crystal maiden need three mangoes for. 2.3 H. Uh, 2.3 mana. Regen per second. Yeah, the burn. Oh, yeah. I saw it. So mind control, he's kind of in between the two runes down bottom. We'll get scouted out by the early hawk. Oh, they're going to challenge this. They're coming to challenge. Aramis is here. Okay, he baits. He does a little jabate here, a little jabate dance. Hey, I'm here. Come and see me. You're all washed up. You're all washed up. So it's Tusk Gyro, and it's a 4 cm. A 4 cm. Okay. Maybe they just start up here. Nice. Looking for the secure. Wait, you start with two boars? What the hell? Oh, one's about to time out. Okay. Oh, two for two on bounty runes. No real earth shaking maneuvers there. How could there be earth shaking maneuvers, Jeeves? There's no earth shaker in the game. Pedantic, as always. Tanner. Nice block. Nice block. Okay. Legit. Legit block there. Slight advantage over Miracle. Already trying to focus on this back creep here of the range. Dude, I guess it lets you dodge out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! Jubates. Nice Jubates, mates. Alright. Should go fa fairly even until about level 5, we think. Then Storm maybe starts to come ahead a little bit. I think it depends on item build as well. I think Kunka can certainly stay ahead in the lane. GH goes in, starts to pound down on Celery with the staple gun. Staple him to the wall. Do it, my friend. Do it. That's not the stapler. Enigma, GH, are you first blood? Oh, oh, oh. Celery takes the kill, brings him down. They hit them with a you're all washed up taunt as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. These guys, Viking, GG, they are feeling it. Toby. What has he got? This hammer. I haven't seen this one before. Though. The Shaper's Relics. Gift from GL Smiley Face. Oh. Good luck, Hababi. Cool. All right, the mid lane, nine and zero oh versus nine and two. Even Stevens here down bottom. The fight's kicking off. Maybe it's going to be second blood. Jeeves could be. Could it be. Oh, he solved up. He solved up on the tusk on the back side there. You see that? Keeping himself healthy. Gh is here, eating down on some crappy. Oh, 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 oh! The big splash miracle. You need to be careful, friend. Five seconds, he'll be back up again, Tanner. He's trying to do as much harass as possible. He wants to even it out. Meanwhile, Celery will go down to GH, and that feels good for them in that lane, I'll tell you what. Here we go, here he comes. He's right on the edge, though. He's like, I'm not even here. Twat. One more twat. Yeah, there he goes. 
Okay, they even eat the bear, the boar, even for a little bit extra gold. Wait, we're just killing people all over the map now. Can we go back and see that one as well. We sure can. Trapped up in the shards, the missile connects. Okay, two to one, the fight cap. Yeah, pretty even though. Nothing too monstrous so far. Name a better duo than Nigma down on kills, but ahead on net worth in the first 10 minutes, guys. EG, same situation. Oh. <clears throat> Decent pressure being applied across the map. Kills are coming quite quickly. One a minute or so. I mean, the shards are ready. He wants to play. We're setting up four minutes in, so no runes or anything, but there will be power runes soon. And I think, obviously, Miracle wants that one quite badly. No bottle for him yet. Looking for boots. He checks top. It's actually bottom. It will be arcane. It's the dream. His bottles arrived as well. The dream scenario pops off an extra. An extra regen as well, but now he has that arcane rune. He can definitely make things happen in this mid lane. He can punish Kunka. It can happen. We well, he'll use that first blink forward. First point. Let's get two points now. All right, level four. No points in overpower just yet. And GH with the damage steal. He's in there. He's doing stuff down bottom. Kudo will go down. They're still fighting. Look at this. He's looking for shot in amongst the trees here. With the illusion, he gets out. Oh, Kuro goes back. Ah, and he's gone. I guess he was just deep in there. Talking about deep in there. GH looking for the chase down on salary. Oh, he didn't like that washed up comment one bit. Still no overpower for the Ursa. Will be only level 3 though, so definitely coming out on top of this lane this time. Wait, the Frost Blast just as you say that, Jeeves. They come back. They come back with a kill. I know GH is trying to help him, and Toby just going to walk through the Ursa. Salary picks up a kill. They'll get the gold as well. Get themselves that bounty rune, and now Toby, Toby getting exterminated by GH. Oh, the frostbite. Easy, easy body block, easy body block. Mid lane, we did see the mid go down, though. We'll go back and check that out. Tom, he's just dead. He's just dead. Rocket Barrage on mind control. See, this is decent. You're a big tanky boy. You take away right click damage, but how do you deal against the magic? Nice shards. The stun comes through the call down. That's actually the firestorm as well. It's not the call down just yet. It was the um, pit of malice, but with the crimson item from TI. And Kunka, 39 and 2 versus 39 and 1. There's not much between the two of them here. Level 6 now on Miracle. Level 7 on Tanner. You'd expect Miracle to kind of come ahead here, but Tanner seems fine. Mind Control will find the first kill. Shot. Can you get out of the Pit of Miles before it procs again? No, he cannot. Tries to turn it around on Kuro. He, he, One stun. One stun to rule them all, but he can't find the angle. He's too low. Even the Catapult might kill him up top. We is fighting and battling up over here. GH in with the slap downs. Oh, the stop. He's not going to let him get away this time. We even goes in and backs off. What the hell? I don't know. GH manning up under the tower. I guess he could use a salve, Jeeves. You know, if I'm if I'm brutally honest, he could use a salve. Mint control. Mm, Tanner with a double bracer phase boot strats. He's going for rotation top though, is he? Looking for the Weeha kill. Weeha. 0, 1, and 2. Have you seen what he can do when he's 6 kills down? So here we go, the Frost Blast. We are you sure you want to try and do this? He doesn't know Kunka's coming. Jeez. Oh, Kunka's down here. He's dealing with the other situation. Gets the GH kill. Ooh, does he? Ooh, Storm Spirit's here now as well. GH trying to power out of there. We with a turn around. Can he help out? Tries to drop the slow. He will manage it. GH running for his little life right now. The Elder Titan. He, the little the little titan who could 382 versus 349 on the high ground to stop oh ho, ho. <laughs> oh so close 
A space Creed. Space Creed. You know, it's just a level 5. As, uh, no, he's 4. He's. Who's the in here? Tubi. Looking for Dominator. Seems good. Double damage. Double damage, Tanner. With the broom handle. Wait a minute, what's this? They're diving in under the tower. Mind Control does actually find Shad, but backs out before the tower can start to go on him because of the TP from the Kunkka Jeeves. I see, they did throw the out. We will get chased now, caught out the shards. Rolls it back around, gets slapped down, slapped twice, slapped three times. Vengeful Spirit once, twice, three times a lady. Kunkka with the splash all over. An 8 to 5, still 1k net worth lead in it for Enigma right now. Okay, the stomp, it will connect. Maybe they can make something happen here. I'm not so sure. Kuka's still there. The X back in. Now the rocket barrage damage. The missile's coming through. They're rolling from Armas. He'll make sure it happens now. GH caught the shards. Caught in the crossfire. Ooh, dude, decent stomp. He's still dead. There's no way. There is no way. GH. GH, there's no way you can make this out, friend. Well, he makes it out. No problem. No problem. Turns out there was every way. Delighted to be wrong in this situation. Armas on the river. Okay, they look for the stomp. Miracle's here, trying to claim some kills back. There's the stomp, the connection is all good. Armas. <gasps> oh, the snowball! Oh, he tried. That was cheeky. He tried to deny, but it's nighttime. I think that might have hurt him a little bit. Double damage on bottom. That's not double damage, geez. That is just... It's just a miracle's... Um, miracle remnant. All right, we coming in. Okay, kind of equal pressure being applied here. Three heroes from the Radiant pushing in top. Two heroes from the Dire down bottom, but nobody defending, so... Two and two for now. Nygma... Enigma with three bounty runes. Outpost for the Radiant, outpost for the Dire. And how's we coming along? We're switching over net worth, I think. Yeah, I mean, Enigma, they're actually in a really decent position for a change. For, you know, for Enigma, there are three heroes with, uh, you know, pretty much high net worth here. Looks good. Talking about three heroes with high net worth. The missile connects. We trapped under his tower. Does throw out the ult. Looking for the boys. The backup miracle is coming, but he's a little bit slow. In fact, they'll take GH out as well. Full five man rotation into the tier two, tier one tower even. Tier one getting swapped out by two bodies bottom as well. So should go even there, despite the kills on the Ursa and the Elder Titan. But yeah, Miracle just couldn't find the angle in there. Even with a haste rune balled up, jeez. Interesting. Dyer's Royal Jelly, that's just a attack. dream. Oh, they're smoked Dyer's up. I mean, what can they find here? Up on the high ground, Tana is well far forward here. The advanced guard. Ursa being targeted once again. How have they found him so many times? They haven't. They, won. they found him twice, jeez. Okay, he's gonna kill some boars. Radiant, they're moving on to the mid lane. And it's actually Vengeful Spirit who kind of seems like might be the one who gets caught out here. The things are definitely coming through. They've got the vision. They know he's there. He's gonna... What is he doing? I think he's just farming, jeez. Okay, there's a stun. He's level 6 though, so does have the swap. The shards come through. Block him in place. Eee, the damage is pouring in. And Kuro, I think your time has come. Uh, Boat for Miracle, tried to zip dodge it, didn't happen, will be stunned, not the pit of malice is there, maybe they can turn this around, mind control goes in, holds the line, forces them back, Miracle with a pull in on Tanner, Tanner a little bit low now, he will be fine for a few more seconds, Chief. no, he, get, he goes down, they get up, GH, you might pay with your life, the roar comes through, not sure how GH does that, but he sure did, the call down is there, now they try and take kills back, they'll take GH, mind control, he's a big beefy boy, though he dropped three of them with the pit of malice, now Kuro comes in to lend a hand on the swap up to the high ground. They're actually looking for kills here. The Ursa, he's coming in from the side. Gets ready for the initiation. He's a little bit scared though. A little bit scared. Didn't want to commit. Could have maybe found the kills there if he did. But 
I mean, Roar is on cool. I'm not sure what his reluctance was. Maybe he didn't know the status of Roar. Maybe. Everyone's salt was on cooldown though, except from the punch of Aramis, the Walrus punch. Very low cooldown though. 36 seconds for him. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Map control. Let's see what the robot thinks. Ooh, Nigma with a hefty advantage. 78%. It's kind of even on towers, I suppose. What is this? Oh shit, we getting chased out of position once again. I mean, he's fast though. We'll not be able to punish him this time round. 13 minutes. They do have Storm Spirit, so Roshan is a particularly juicy objective. Yeah, and Aegis on your Storm feels good down bomb. The fight is happening. They do manage to pick off the Gyrocopter. How did that go down? Let's have a look. I mean, it's just so much damage, right? They just come in, slap them down, even use the ult. Didn't work out for them. They are trying to find something here, though. Ursa dropped out. We'll leap forward. Armus gets the punch off. Snowball down to the low ground. GH is already there to cut them off. Miracle zipping in, getting very aggressive here. Has to be careful. Gets the stomp off. Nice. The whole ton are in place. It's three kills already for Nigma. Make it four, make it five. Wait. Two kills already. Yeah, there's five. Where did Gyro? Oh, they killed Gyro bottom. You're all washed up. Nice moves. Nice progress. Nigma on the move down. On to shot. They just push them out, actually. But a nice wedge of cheese. 2k net worth up. Well, coming up for the 15 minute mark, we want to make sure we get both of these outposts. Dyer have them both secured right now for the XP. They're going to want to challenge this. Toby looking for the angle in here. Remember, Bounty Rune's going to spawn there as well. We is there. Gobbles up that. Gobbles up the hawk. Are they going to try for it? I don't know. 10 seconds. GH gets ready with the stomp play. I love this, Luke. It's like, oh shit. And stomp. Yeah, free XP, boys. Oh, you don't get 500. You only get 375. Interesting. It's 250 each, right? If you have one each, I believe so. Mirko, he is running with dual nulls, got himself the Kaya invis balled up. Hey, what's this? Tana, you're a little bit far forward there, mate. You seem to be gonna be slept. Are you gonna be okay? I think he's gonna be just fine. No real backup coming. Has the armlet finished up as well? Wait a minute. GH, they'll pull everything in here for the big boy. The punch to swap out keeps him alive. Though mind control ready with the pit of mask. But here comes Sean in from the side. Brings down GH, they'll get a counter kill though. We will find the Crystal Maiden and maybe they can find more. Radiant in a little bit of retreat, they'll chase with the GH spirit. Tanner looks for the slap attack. Didn't even take it. Okay. Oh, the buyback for the Crystal Maiden. They want to do something here. The TPN to this high ground. They do have two Armas on Toby connected here. Ah, we ha! Brings down Toby and now they'll make another kill. Miracle unstoppable and maybe, maybe, just maybe, Nigma have cracked the code of how to win games right now. Of Weeha on the Ursa. Just as you guys said. 3k lead right now. Viking facing a warmed up Nigma right now. Slop. The no fuck up strat, that's right. That's right. I mean, at the moment, where are we at? We're 17 minutes into the game. It's a 3k net worth lead. Barely one kill in it. But if you look at the way the kills have been coming, look at this. Doosh, 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 doosh. It's all Nigma all day. They'll spot out the roast. They know it's there. Because he's not been taken yet, Jeeves. I'm just putting them in there for a little scout for now. Beastmaster with the Helm of the Dominator and able to make that play. Oh, I see. You kill off the big boy. You get the two guys which don't have the timer. I mean, they have another timer. 
different time. Ooh, I think that's crap for Ursa. He'd be good for Miracle though. Give him the shawl! Are they set up here? Are they looking to try and make a play here? Do they want to set up, maybe get the pick off before? Okay, the X marks the spot. Who's the X on? Kunka? Network, uh, I don't think so. Oh no, I missed the fight because of the thing. There you go, and they're rolling with the snowball. Nice from Mind Control once again, creating all the space, sucking all the damage. RMS, oh, he's a little bit low. They do use the call down. Mind Control being the only target that's off through. Will be dodged up by Miracle, though. He zips back in, looking for the fight now. The roar, even. I'm not sure where connected to connect, but we have the backside. They take down. They take down the task. Now they look to take down the Beastmaster. There's a free courier as well. He'll take that. And it's four dead for Nigma. And here we go. They're about to roll down mid. Start pushing in. Start pushing in some racks. Wrong, Jeeves. They'll go and get the easy roll. She makes more sense. Fine. Fine. Kuro, the only one playing for real objectives right now. And the deny from Kunka, it won't be there. Maybe he gets the counter kill though, needs to be care careful. No, Kunka's like, oh, the boys! Oh, they're on, no, no one's here! He's getting ready for the swap! Did you see that? He's like, hey, I'll swap them back in! <laughs> He's like, oh shit, everyone's doing wrong. Alright, Kuro out to the bottom lane. He's gonna farm up a little bit. Some golden XP. The rest of the boys, they're gonna push in top. Is this a little bit of a misread from Kuro though? Maybe the guy should be applying pressure right now. 2k net worth lead on Miracle right now. This boy, he knows how to farm. He knows how to play the game, that's for sure. Please don't go AFK and miss kills. Well, Mr. Tweet, thank you very much. I'm going AFK for 20 minutes now. I'll see you guys when I get back. And we didn't miss any kills. We missed the start of the fight. Ooh, what the big danger zip in? Is he looking for the triple? Damn right, he is. Mind control TP's in. They'll pull them in place with a pet ball. The boat comes through. We'll keep Kunika alive for a little while longer. But here come the rest of the boys. Actually, the roar in the box. Ice Kobe takes the time to snatch up that bite. They're still so trying to find Tanner here. He's nippy, but he will die. And Toby as well. Rapid control from Nigma. Now 8k net worth. A beautiful trap played out. Mind control with the TP in and then the zip. Yeah, nice play. And they're going to go top. Let's go, boys. On the battle bus. Let's go AFK. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. BKB for Ursa. BKB for Ursa. I guess it's just to free him up, stop him from getting so easily controlled. Crimson Guard is there. Permanent 55 bonus damage from his uh, Archviola. Three tanks, Pan, Kek, Gigante, 7, 1, 8. I remember you from yesterday. I remember that moniker. How could anyone forget Pan, Kek? Pan, Kek. Pan, Kek. I used to play a game. On the Amiga called Pang, it was good. You had to shoot balloons. It's not as good as Bubble Bubble though. Oh, okay, this done. Nice quick assassination on salary. He won't be able to get out of there. Nice, Kuro. Oh, your maidenly charms were wasted on me. Hmm. He's more of a top, I hear. Okay, starting to work in. Oh, this mid tower here. The carpet wave, decent. Carpet wave bottom as well. No. No. Already dealt with. Chunk, 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 down. The Torrent is there. Try and keep them at bay. They've got a little army as well for the Beastmaster Tanner coming in from the side. Wait a minute. The X. Now maybe they initiate. They'll throw the boat. It will connect on Mind Control. Start to damage him up. And Miracle, he's already moving onto that backline zip set. Here comes we with the BKB ready. Demolishing bulls. Bulls left, right, and center. Ripping them down. It's two, it's three, it's a triple kill for Weeha. Four down for Viking, and I imagine GG's might come out fairly soon. They'll bring down the tower, even though it's backdoor protected, and roll up to the mid ground. There's only buybacks for the gyro, and there you go, the GG comes through. They can't hold it. They'll go to game two. They know it's a five game series, and all you have to do is ban Weeha's uh, Ursa.
MVP Jeeves. I kind of feel like we maybe want to give it to Mind Control. He was exceptional. Miracle played really well as well. Um, Mind Control. We gave it to Miracle last game, so. Okay, but that was just game one, guys. This is a best of five. These teams are getting ready to dig trenches. These guys are getting ready to fight to the bitter end. Nigma up one game. Join us in about five minutes or so for the next game. See whether or not we can make it 1-1 or if Nigma can go two ahead. Something would be good, something eight would be good. I don't have time to make anything though. Uh, 10 minutes is too fine a line, and also it's probably not even going to be 10 minutes, but like seven. I can get a cup of tea.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the We Play Book Apple Minor 2020. This is Nigma versus Viking GG in the best of five in the top. Well, the winner's grand final. I am General Divacus. This draft is already underway. Ten seconds remaining. Team ban. Uh, Ursa. Ursa ban from Viking. Color me surprised. Wait, why is this moving? Dire team ban. Wait a minute. I feel like I'm on selected on someone. We can see someone else's c cursor. Oh, I hope we're not in that thing where we're trapped in somebody's perspective and we have to lo reload to a two again. Could be. Timber saw Rubik. All the bonds on Earth on We Harvest. There's a Chen. There is more sensible bonds coming out from Kuro, to be honest. I see. <laughs> Why do we have so many cursors? I don't know. <laughs> I think I clicked on one of the guys. I clicked on one of the um, in in lobby guys, and then I restarted. I restarted the game, and I think I clicked another one. That's okay. We'll switch it off when we get in. First pick, Tusk for Artemis. <laughs> please don't go AFK in this kills. Please, please don't. I followed and then unfollowed you just to tell you. That. Ten seconds right. remaining. I appreciate. It. Five you seconds it. remaining. Saw the start. We missed it. Start of the team fight. And uh, far shot. Welcome, dude. Welcome to the stream. Are you Nigma fan or Viking? Radiant team pick. Oh, okay. We get tiny. We get tiny. Is this for Weeha mid? Oh, oh, I see. Is it that these guys aren't even broadcasting in game? And they are just a oh, wow. So people watching Ten Endo TV, remaining. all 3,000 of them, they don't even got a live broadcast to listen to. Five seconds remaining. Some people are very mercenary. Team pick. Keeper of the light. Dire team ban. Drow Ranger. All right, they're going to Dry Ranger Strat. They do have Tiny and Keeper of the Light already. Will ban, ban out the Phantom Lancer. Seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Shadow friend. Radiant team ban. Okay, they take the storm spirit out. SF was banned by Viking last game. And this could be G. It's GH keeper, right? Always. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. More mid bonds. I mean, you already see the dry ranger, right? So you know where they're going. Maybe bond the gyro. What well, if they go back for the beastmaster, though? They're gonna take a. Okay, blah, 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 blah. so it could be, it could be Weeha Tiny Mid, it could be Kuro, it could be Kuro Keeper and GH Tiny, because we have mind control on the Mars now, but wait Jeeves, Mars could be 4. Ten seconds remaining. Five Can we talk, remaining. please talk about these teams yesterday. 
Okay, so yesterday it was 3-2-1. Viking GG beat Enigma. Took them down into the lower brackets. Uh, Weeha was mid every game then. How wrong we were on that second game. Did they not win? They won the second game, right? Enigma won the second game, I think. Enigma. Dude, I don't remember. I have cast. Oh, it doesn't even give me the total hours. No. I've cast for the last... 25 days in a row now. Radiant team pick. Crystal Maiden. Well, I've seen a lot of Dota. Uh, I remember you were going to bet on it, right? And then you couldn't because there was like a delay or something. And then you saw the <laughs> second game and that's when Viking won, right? Nygma won the first game and they were 1-0 one, one up. And it's like easy 2-0 for Nygma. Then Viking came back with the two games, I remember. It's all right, bro. It's all right. I feel you. I feel you. It's like one of those close misses. You know, when you see your life flash before your eyes, you're like, oh, shit, dog. You really fucked up there. Yeah, you got lucky because Bavada was dying at the time. I remember. Saved you from yourself. It was all supposed to be so easy. They're taking the time to think about this though. Kuro scratching his dome. I don't think you can really scratch. You have to just run your hand through it, right? You run your hand over it, but you can't really scratch it though. Run your hand over it. Enjoy this feeling. Dire team pick. Enigma, Enigma. So many enigmas, so many enigmas. We're gonna have a buzz in the jungles, jungle. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team band. Behold the horn. Of oh, the Magnus. This is a weird lineup, isn't it? Magnus offlane, maybe they're going for Morphling, ban the Morphling, ban the Morphling, ding 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 ding, ban the Morphling. Team ban. Who's got last pick? Last pick for Nygma. They do have this Magnus, they do have the Dry Ranger, could we get something a little bit more exciting in the Meepo Broodmother category? Huskar maybe? We have a lot of team fight right now. We got the uh, the Keeper of the Light. He's going to be throwing out the Illuminate, the Will of the Wisp. We've got Mars with the Arena, and then the Enigma Black Hole. Difficult to get on top of them. Mirana and Shadow Demon. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Mars can play be played for. It could be GH on the Mars, and Mind Control on the Enigma. I think that makes sense, right? Tiny on the Weeha, Kuro on the Keeper. Or it could be Mind Control on the Mars and GH on the Enigma. Kuro on the Keeper and Miracle mid Tiny. We don't know yet. We don't know, Parsha. Uh, okay, so the final ban out, the. The Venge is banned, the Kunkas is banned, only the Disruptor left, they're not going to go back for Disruptor, so that's fine. They take out Batrider, and then they ban Alk. Huh. They want Morphling, right? Morphling for Viking? 
Or maybe TA actually. TA, yeah, TA mid for Connor. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Venomancer. Or forget that nonsense, Jeeves. Forget everything you think you know about this lineup. It's Magnus mid, Dry Ranger safe lane, Venomancer off lane with the Tusk. With the Dry Ranger, I think. Ten seconds remaining. Invoker. Ooh, who gets Invoker this time then? Is this really a fucking safe lane tiny? Well, they had Tusk last game, dude, and they lost. Poopy pooper who poops. I mean, they got a lot of catch, right? You got the Crystal Maiden for a slow. Tanner can get on top of them. He is mid, by the way. Um, the Shards, they have a lot of connection. Alright. They're still deciding, though. It will be Kuro Keeper. This we know. Can we run through Viking? We can run through Viking Ten while they make their decisions. Remaining. So for the We Play Bukevil Minor 2020 e EU Close Qualifiers Grand Final, Enigma versus Viking Gaming, Game 2 on Viking, on Armin, it'll be Armus on the Tusk, Shad on the Dry Ranger, Celery on the Crystal Maiden, Tanner on the Mid Magnus, and Toby with the Venom Monster on the off lane. Over on Enigma, it'll be GH on the Tiny, Kuro on the Keeper of the Light, We on the Mars. Mind Control on the Enigma, and Miracle Mid. I am General Jeevicus. Follow me at Twitch TV slash Jeeves Dota TV. Let's uh, let's get our Dota 2 on mm. A Flame Mars. No, the Magnus the Magnus is fine. Magnus is fine. There was no question about that. When uh, I realized that they were gonna take the Venom Monster Tolerant. In them. You think? Wait, RDQ won. Do you think Magnus? Uh, do you think Mars safe lane is good? I've not seen it at all. Here we go. Three victories in a row predicted for shot. Why has he got the dog? Oh, I didn't even see the other one. Oh God. Nice. Okay. Suns fan calm, Jesus, can you imagine? Alright, he's not that bad an observer actually. He actually did it for a tournament one time when he was the observer. Um 52% win chance for Enigma. And 48% for the Vikings. Mind control, he is stacked. He's going in with the six mangoes. Kuro, he's got himself one. And Weeha also won. I mean, I think you just win then, right? There's no way those guys can have more mangoes. Nine. Oh, I mean, he's got three. Wait a minute. Uh, one, okay. Wait, where are they going? They're just kind of setting up. The multi shot on Drow. How does that work with armor? Hmm. <laughs> what did you expect? Does it just go through? Does it just go through? I mean, you don't normally see ball work coming up very often anyway. Like not early. Wee's down here. He's got the spear ready. Oh, that's good. It's starting, it's starting. I think it might be. It's physical damage for the drow. Um. Yeah, physical. They changed. They changed the colors. I don't know if you know, but they changed the colors so that physical would be red and blue. Magical would be blue. And then pure damage now, I think, is orange. Well, it's sort of orangey color.
Okay, let's get this set up already. Kudo a little bit low. He's going to be facing off against the tri lane here. Kudo and we on the Mars. They'll face the tri lane of Aramis, Celery, and Shad. That's Crystal Maiden, a Tusk, and a Dry Ranger. So a little bit low on XP gain for those guys. Mind Control going to be up here with GH on the Tiny. No, he's going, he's going bomb. They're going to fight. They're going to fight bomb. Need to contest this. Trying to give Wii a decent enough game while, you know, Miracle going to have the good time mid. Nice connection with the Sunstrike. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see already there was a slight dip with the rune collection, etc. And the way the lanes were start starting out. But now that they've rotated out, Nigma back on track. Okay, I mean, they're going for something early here. Weeha will pin him to his own. Ice Shard seems good, but... Oh, he's dead! Shot takes him down. First blood going the way of the Vikings. You know, a little bit low. Miracle, a little bit low in the mid lane. Your drive get gone on as we speak, though. GH, he's rolling in there. The throw back, the toss. We ready with a spear. Stop. Well, trade for trade. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty even as far as this mid goes. Mag actually ahead at the moment, 10 and 4. I think that's an early level advantage, though, because of the way that Miracle has built. He's gone Quasic Swords. Oh yeah, I mean what we've seen is um, even if Nygmar are down in kills, they're still ahead in net worth. It's even just now though. They got a lot of farming cores as well. You know, a lot of cores that can farm stuff on Viking, so... Vino can set up a triangle. Uh, Mag has the empower. Dry Ranger hits creeps. And Miracle, he's getting handled mid right now. It's 18 and 5 versus 11 and 6. Yeah, Mag's out farming him right now. Initiation from GH, they throw back the squishy. Celery, pin to a tree. Uh, GH managing to get on top of him, but eating ice arrows. Nice right click from Kuro. Maybe another one finishes it. Oh, it goes for the courier instead. Oh, is he going to pay for that one? He is. Shit, they could have taken the kill. He might not have died there. Now we getting chased back. He turns it around though, he's, he's, he's doing the backwards walk back there. Well, well, well. well, well, well. Yeah, every year or so they ask for stuff, they're like, what do you think is missing from the game? And I was like, it'd be really cool if there was a guy who had a proper shield and used proper shield block. I'm going to send Ares to Ice Frog, and then we get Mars. Very cool. Cool story, Jeeves. Are you going to you gonna go on that hero story for forever? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I did. Uh, I tweeted. I tweeted Ice Frog yesterday and told them that every six minutes, Mango Trees should drop another Mango Tree, so we can cover the whole map in Mango Trees. You're welcome. Gh, nice initiation, good save. It's always this Crystal Maiden. and they're throwing back the spear. It's perfect. Just brings them down. He will share the bounty, however. RMS gets gets. I think he got mana leaked. And look at this. Tanner, level 5, he's off to the jungle, he's, he's farming up here. Miracle, not able to push out at the same pace at all. And it will be 2 for 2 on the bounty runes once more. Eidolon on Toby action. How's this lane going? Mind control already level 6, no big surprise there. Head of the CS right now, looking for... Nice, nice Eidolon sacrifice, okay. Down here, no one's really engaging. They're trying to come in with the Plague Wards, but the Eidolons are actually quite a good... Counter to that strat. Armist ready to go on Kuro. 
That's a bottle, Jeeves. Wow, wealthy, wealthy boy. Is it his bottle? Snowball in with the slows. Nice blinding light to keep him safe. Now the multi shot will come through. Won't quite connect fully. And they're gonna let are they gonna let him go? They sure are. GH is courier in the danger zone. GH, can you make a play on Armus? Yep, there's the toss into the spear. Nicely played. That the sun strike as well. Armus, he's dead. Alright, Dyer got a little bit too aggressive there, and they were ready. You have to remember as well when you have Miracle on the team. And he has Sunstrike. You're always playing against four heroes on the map. And it looks like it's just three. Way they're coming, man. They're gonna try and do something here. GH has Avalanche in three seconds. I think he just wants the toss, though. Need to be careful. Nice shards. Hold him in place up here. Miracle off doing other things. I mean, GH just creating the space right now. Just harassing him. The blinding light comes through as well. Also, Miracle can go and get himself a cozy, easy double damage. Oh, it's getting heated in the chat. Miracle is useless without BKB. Um, well, maybe they are set up here to defend. The rest of the boys aren't coming, Miracle. You need to be careful. This guy has RP available. He doesn't. He actually used his skill point on Skewer. Snowball in. Nice. Sleep over. They'll pull him back with the Skewer. Start to beat him down. Drop the rock. Yeah. You, I mean, why did he not follow up with the Magnus? I don't think it even helps. He didn't even have the RP, which is the only thing that would have saved him there. So. Mark can out-tempo both Invoker and Mars. This is true. 47 and 5 versus 42 and 21 denies, though. While Mag is farming, out-farming him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can he just get ironwood branches and put an ironwood branch on top of himself and knock himself down? His courier is still walking. His courier is still walking, boys. <laughs> Are they going to get him down? Yeah, Mazar, Mazak, Mazak Ramf, Mazak Ramf. Welcome. Mazak. Any seconds for the TP? They're, they know he's still there. He's gone. He's gone. He's out. Yay! I would have liked to have seen something, but he couldn't get. He couldn't get his courier to him because his courier's still walking. By the way. You hush now, little pimp. No one wants to hear you squeak. <laughs> Spear goes through, stuns him. Oh, ho, 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 nice! A little bit of a shoot back by Shadow, doing some AoE damage, gets trapped up. They're both in the snowball. Keep him safe for a few more seconds. The snowball forward gets pinged back. And GH ready with the toss. RMS, the main target, but Shad, the real target that you want, is still alive. Jeeves actually created a little bit of space there. Weeha trying to chase him down. The Duke through the cheeks. Very nicely played. Tanner here to cut off that angle. And look at this, the arrival. Oh, Nick, my miracle with the Sunstrike once again. Just played him. I mean, they lost the tiny arms, the GH, right? Yeah, they traded evenly in the end for that. CS net worth at the moment. Let's do last hits and dies. It's 83.44 to Enigma, 78.5 to Magnus, 59.31 to Invoker. Those are the top three. We switch over net worth. Top three net worth. It's uh, as expected, really, except Invoker's way ahead of Magnus. He's a thousand gold ahead. It's 5k for Invoker, 5k for Enigma, 4k for Magnus. Finding runes have spawned. Outpost for the Dire, Outpost for the Radiant. I'm still short of two bounties. Radiant's courier was caught in the crossfire. Got it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's his denies, right? I mean, how many denies? He's just been given the mid lane. Right? So the guy goes off to farm. The miracle, he just stays here. He denies every creep that comes in. 36 denies, by the way. Dire's middle tower is under attack. 
Mango Tree drops for Celery. It's double Null Talisman and a Midas for Miracle, by the way. I know they can kill anyone with the RP and CM Oh, but CM can just get uh, Marsed. He could just come in and drop the Arena of Blood and then pin her to the wall and her ult's over. And then Enigma comes over with uh, Black Hole and what are you going to do? Mm, they have got, actually, they have got decent. The Vino ult, Crystal Maiden ult, and the, Mar the Mag RP. But you're talking about Enigma, right? You like, how are you going to get a five-man uh, five RP on Enigma? Okay, we got a smoke play here. This is a very far forward mango tree. I'm not sure about that one. We'll give them decent vision for now. The smoke play, it's in action. They are looking for Miracle mid. He does have Invis, so a little bit of a difficult kill. Wee's coming in to help protect that here, though. They come around the side. GH, they catch him out. Actually, the Ice Shards screws over Crystal Maiden there just a little bit. How about Bounty Hunter plus Invoker? What, for we? <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. All right, cool. He's having a little peek. He's having a little look here. He's got wards. GH at the mango tree. <laughs> Doesn't cut the tree down, by the way. Did you notice that? He just picked up a couple of mangoes up top. Miracle tried to help out once again, but this time it doesn't work out. They are going to have the avalanche coming in. We'll watch that in a second. Tanner, they got the RP off. Mind control just in position there. So they can kill one, and then they go in on GH. GH came across throughout the Avalanche. Was there any... Ooh, Aramis. That's a lot of damage elsewhere. Yeah, they're fighting kills left, right, and center. We on a double. We can see some of that. Whoa, the Venomancer ult. This is what we talked about, right? All right, so that's the first kill. There we go. Spears them as expected. Toby throws out the Venomancer ult. They start to chase down. Toby is the only guy left alive. He will fight the kill. There's no way he doesn't. Right? Right? Yeah. Okay. But you're not too concerned. I mean, you're still saying almost 5k on your Mars. You've got the offlane Vlad's build here. What did you expect? Just uh, just get two offlaners, bro. Just get two offlaners and let GH cut that in. Can Mars skewer through it? Uh, I think he can skewer it into it. I don't know if he skewer out of it. He can't if he's BKB'd. Whoops. GH, are you okay there? He's just fine. Both outposts now in control of the Radiant, by the way. What's the status with Roche? No one really equipped to take Roche just yet. We're kind of looking for... It's an Axe for Max, so they're looking for Infinite Skewer, right? A 4 second Skewer cooldown. Okay, they want to try, and they're like, "Wait a minute, we need to, we need to get back on top, guys. We need some cheese." Bring out the Enigma. All right, bring out the the, the Magnus. What? As, does he think he's Michael Jackson? Yeah, can skewer in, but not out. Unless you're BKB, and then you're fine to skewer. Okay, I mean, GH goes for the TP. They will use the Skirt Cancel out off. It's four versus one. GH can't possibly survive. Will go down. They try and push them out. Um, wait, did they use Black Hole? For what? TM? Huh. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I underestimated Miracle's X or Invoker. Um, that's easy to do, man. That's easy to do. Wait, did he just pick up Ags so he can get Cataclysm? That's not worth it. I mean, it's super early for Cataclysm, actually. Gives him a lot of extra team fight. They will shard him, but he's in under the tower. He's gailed up, but he's going to be just fine. Able to repel quite a lot of firepower there. Tanner looking for the Anglin. You said he was going to be fighting, Jeeves. He looks pretty dead to me. I mean, we just didn't take the Tanner effect into consideration. 
So pressure being applied mid for that tier 1, but Miracle's applying pressure to tier 2 and also Enigma up top doing the same thing. They need to respond to one of these. Instead, they're chasing kills. GH making all the space in the world. What a beautiful avalanche on 3. They're going to bring him down eventually. Kuro as well probably falls. But you're trading damage on tier 2 towers for this right now. The fortifications come through, but this is a catapult wave still fully intact uh, there and here. A nice movement from the Radiant. They will counter fortify, keep those creeps alive. They finally realize they're going to have to deal with this. They go in on Mind Control. Mind Control not quite ready with the Black Hole, though the Snowball in has TP available. They do have the Grove. There's Tanner here as well with the RP, so I don't think the TP out is going to happen. Miracle can move back into the mid lane, though, and secure that tower while that's happening. Bottom lane starts to get pushed out. Toby gets murdered down by Wii, even through the alt. He might still die though. E, e, e. Idiot. Why did he not just go straight away? To the shrine. I don't know. No TP for Tiny. GH, he is living a dangerous life. Oh, if you can get the initiation on Shad. Shad's so far forward. I mean, he's so far back, but he thinks he's safe, but he's really not. GH, he's looking for the angle. He's got to run this one in. Gets pulled back a little bit. The avalanche will keep his target in sight, but he does get gusted, so... Wait, who was dead? Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Even if you made it to the shrine. I was thinking, so... He was out of range, right? He went back in and he retook some extra ward damage. And then I think he was on... Just po Poison Nova and the actual Poison Sting had worn off. But it just takes you to zero HP. I think he actually technically died to the creep. The one range creep. So my idea is he moves faster, he doesn't get the aggro on that, he comes up, hits the shrine. It's not going to fully heal him, but I think it gives him just enough HP. Oh, Spirit Vessel was on him as well. Really? How long does it last for? 8 seconds. Hmm. Okay. We'll just say he was dead and the Spirit Vessel killed him. Yeah, maybe Cole could have denied in that situation. Yeah, because he had the little exclamation mark above his head, right? Alright, we got Ags up and Invoker. Like we say, this doesn't do what it used to do. Now it just gives you Cataclysm. Oh, smoke play from Viking. Trying to regather the initiative. The initiative is 15 to 15. 2k net worth to Enigma. You wrap round. We will be the one to break the smoke. His positioning is actually quite good for this. Blinks forward. The snowball's there. Has his back to the enemy. The mind control comes in. There's the Ignis Fatus as well. Oh, I'm not sure about that one, but okay. That's created a little bit of space. Toby comes in from that backside. Did he get his ult off? No. GH does have the spirit vessel running him. Toby. Very low B. Oh, we had nice block there. The toss forward for Mind Control. He'll eat the ult for his, his, his troubles. Mind Control looking for the perfect black hole. We'll find a decent one on two. Wait a fucking minute. What? I mean, he just RP'd in there, right? He just skewered in on Connor. Maybe, okay, they're turning some kills around. Maybe it wasn't the worst situation at all. We are trying to man fight this. Miracle's already dead. Tanner, actually, that was a genius play pulling himself in the black. Well, he managed to find a kill on the back. He's on a triple kill. What happened? What happened there? I don't even understand. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see what happens. Are we too far back? I think we're too far back. Go back 10 seconds and 10 seconds more. And 10 seconds more. No, Tanner's already there. Where does Miracle go down? Here? Right, this is this is the start of it. So Miracle's still up. Alright, they throw in the Enigma, he drops the ult. Now we get we are set up perfectly. Mind control walks in, beautiful ult, and it's over here. Luke, he skewered in GH on he got miracle. Alright, ah, he RP'd them on the back legs and pushed them into the fight. Okay. Wow. That guy, what a player though. No. 
Weehaw's back. He, gee, I mean, the Snowball's going to save him. Celery, he's going to get in there as well. Keep him alive for a few seconds for GH. Ready with the blast. That's on GH. It's Kuroki and no blast coming. Weehaw just holding them all back with the shield. Stay back, brothers. I will defend you. Weehaw force blocked him with that. Skewer Artemis comes in with a punch. Where's the rest of the crew? We just don't know. Miracle. Ugh, they have him. They dust him. They bring him down for the second time. Tanner is out of control. Double kill. Oh, yeah, it's the cleave. This it's not the four seconds here. It's the cleave, bros. It's the cleave. <laughs> Nerf cleave. Damn. And still, after all of that, Miracle just died back to back twice. He's still just barely top of the network. Just barely. Yeah, nobody doubted anything you said, uh, Poopy. Nobody doubted a single word you said. All right, Miracle has Ag still. What's he looking for next? Oh, he's got something on the courier. Very nice. Is this a fight? Is this a fight? This is Tanner on his kind of on his own. He gets hit up with the avalanche. No further follow up. I mean, he can always just get out though. Is it too late to deal with Tanner now? Is it just impossible? Hit him with a black hole. Yeah, Drow's getting a lot of space out of this as well. She's down here at the moment, maybe on 8.6k net worth. What's that? Sixth on the net worth? Fifth on the net worth? Watch that space though, because the next 15 minutes. Wait a minute, Kuro. Caught out with the frostbite. Tanner gonna bring him down. Shad will be the one to get the kill. Tanner actually goes forward, tries for the RP, gets gets just thrown back. Wait a minute. Hey, he does get an RP off this time though. The BTB comes out instantly from Mind Control. He gets ready to drop that black hole. He's already freaking dead! What is this? We have melted as well! They force him back in. I don't know that played it back ever, no problem. And Viking GG. Oh, I just think I just don't know what to do with themselves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can buff drive as well. You're going for a roast Jeeves. Might as well get it set up. Let's go. I mean, it's the first ages 23 minutes into the game. We have bought back for this. They need to challenge it somehow. The blast comes through. Oh, it's not quite long enough. Kuro. Just the tip was too short. Unfortunately, he killed off the... Uh, killed off the tusk there. Dish it and nerf Magnus. No. He just got the buff. Guys. I'll just instantly nerf heroes when they get broken. Got it. Rhino horn on elephant face. That's not really. Yeah, kind of a little bit. But where's his trunk? They're fighting, Jeeves. They're fighting. He's going in. The skewer. He's right on top of a miracle coin. The pull him back in. Skewer him in even further in under the tower. Does get the invisible. Can he escape? I don't know. He's going for another skewer. Meet me. Yeah, oh, he's out. He's out. No dust. Ah, he jukes out from there. Backs it away. Doesn't get caught out underneath the sentry. Meanwhile, we will find Celery elsewhere. GH very low. Still trying to fight here. Shot critically low. That'll be the ages pop. We with a nice smash. And Tan are trying to get in here. GH with the jukes. Yeah, Shad, he's back up. The TP in from Miracle. They're looking for this, but so is Tanner. Has no mana. The Venom Monster all comes out. We'll connect on Miracle. We, and I think Mind Control as well. And he goes the mana drain. We're leaking him up, bringing him back. And he's out. Wait, Skewer doesn't cost any mana? All right, that's broken. That is fucking broken. How? Oh, it's the Ags. The Ags removes it. Okay. Fucking idiot. 
Yeah, it doesn't have mana when it's... It does have mana normally, guys. It does have mana normally, but when you get Args, it takes the mana cost off. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? That's that's base? I thought Bloodseeker was the only one that had abilities to use mana. Yeah, you don't even need you don't even need the Morphling. We just got the mangas, bro. That's all we need. Alright, mind control gonna find the orb of destruction. E is that good? Not on him. Maybe on Tiny? Maybe on Miracle? Structures are fortified. Yeah. Zip all over the map. They will take a tire though. They do manage to get a little bit of territory back here. It's 1k net worth lead. Viking GG. A little bit ahead here. I like this. They cloud up they they um clump up the creep wave so the catapult gets more time to fight. GH is rolling in top, trying to pressure. Tier 3 for Tier 2, but this Tier 2 is dangerously low already. Back arm is going to come in and make sure it falls. Whoa, GH is actually having a little bit of a slap down here. Helped out, of course, by the Forge Spirit. Rest of the boys are coming with another Creep Wave. And the bottom tower does finally fall. So they are now in a little bit more dangerous position up top. They are going to be looking to TP for this. No, they're looking to gank We They'll go in. They'll hold him in place. They'll throw the ult set. RPM and shit like that. Sure, why not? But I mean, they backed off. The TPs are coming through. So, I mean, they traded really cleverly there. If, uh, if Nygma had carried on pushing, maybe the tier 3 goes down, right? But they come back for the fight because we gets engaged on and they're worried that they're going to have to defend. So they cancel it off. Um, Viking just come out just slightly ahead there. Even on the towers, of course, and then they get the extra kill. The 54 seconds, no bars buyback. Okay, mind control. He's going to eat up the ult. He does pop BKB, though. That'll take it right off. Big changes, of course, to magic in this patch. Like previously, it would have still been on him, but the damage tick wouldn't have effect. Yeah, they need to they need to hold Tana, but Tana has BKB, so Mag's out doesn't actually do anything there. He just pops BKB and see ya. Um. Maybe for getting set up, and once again, it's Miracle this time. The Forge Spirit, a lot a lot up. He's doing significant damage here. He might, they might be able to get the tower. Oh, 172 HP remaining. Not deniable they're looking for Miracle. They want to try and catch him out here. They have got the tools to blink forward. It's wide. Oh, they catch him with the... They catch sight of the Frosty Feet, but they're not going to be able to catch him. He is going full wax, and he's getting his ass out of there. GH has no farm. Mm, he's got 7k, it's not too bad. Miracle getting snowballed on. I'm not sure if you thought this was a better fight, a better initiation. It wasn't, spoiler. Wait, the RP, what's happening here? Okay, on the backside, Mind Control looking for an avenue to come in. GH just handled. Top tower has been denied. And a little bit of a faux pas from Miracle. I'm not sure why they thought they could open up on that. The Viking, most definitely stronger right now. Gods, man. Mag is beyond, beyond unstoppable. We all see. Uh, Nygma, he's rolling with Vampire Fangs. We, what did he get? He got the orb of uh, the mini scar, the orb of destruction. We, was this? Mind control, they're trying to go on him. Armas, I think he rolled into the wrong party. There's the Ignis Files. The black hole gets dropped and it's so good. On three, bringing them in. Nice ult from Wii as well. Now we're starting to see things in a different light. Mind control trying to get his ass out of there. Tana with the BKB escapes, of course, GH. Oh, the avalanche was a split second slow. And he will get out of there, but a decent enough turnaround without Miracle being involved. Oh, you just get rupture. You just rupture Magnus. It's a counter. Or don't, or ban him. One of the two. 
Okay, Shard's just, uh, that's not Shard, is it? Celery, Celery's gonna just be dead. He did try a little bit of Frostbite, trying to keep himself alive, basically just making space. And the four star forward, exactly. Miracle was waiting for that, did you see that? Oh, they're pushing mid. I mean, they are, it's just we. Oh, okay. Uh, welcome to the fight, then. Hire is this boss. Oh! Oh, the next level play. Fuck you, Tower. Very cool. All right, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. But they do have no buyback, and I'm fine. He did take down tier one middle. Now they come for Miracle. BKB up on Tanner. It's running. This is the bait. They want to get that out, the timer out on that, so they can get back in there. Oofed. Oofed. Miracle making plays. He is like an elusive guy right now. Oh, my control pops out the BKB. Satanic up on Magnus now as well. He's not giving up. He's going to chase. And GH, not much you can do. Blink force. I mean, they've got cooldowns. I just pushed him in the fire. But at the same time, we was ready. He drops out. He drops up the, the arena on a decent decent kind of stop you know you don't get you don't get gunned down by it i mean the rest of the heroes were respawning it's just unfortunate yeah they got tier 3 mid bro Rhines are vulnerable all right kudos dead down for 104 seconds jesus that's a long cooldown level 21 32 minutes into the game Okay, this is GH, it sure is. They'll try to go in on him. The TP out, can they cancel this? Nope, see ya. They need to wait for their call, ideally. They got a Shadow Blade finished up for GH. It's gonna allow him to be a little bit more sneaky. See him all uh, one time, I believe. Maybe twice. That we've seen. All right, Tanner, he's trying to do some backdoor shenanigans here. It's not working out, though. The, the creep waves are good mid on top for the Dire to push in here, but... I mean, you say they're good, but they're quite... They're still quite far away in mid. They'll throw him back, pin him to the tower. Four staff away, keep him alive from him. So that's that BKB building up on the Assault Kuras. Miracle is doing things bomb over here. The fight is continuing, though. Oh, I missed the do dry fire for mind control here. He has Black Hole looking for a good angle. Tanner's BKB comes out. This is buying some time. Miracle, he already took down tier 2 top. So tier 2 trade for tier 2 trade. And they will TP back Aramis. But here we go. Miracle, he's going for the slide play. Oh, you cheeky monkey. Oh, 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 easy. RP though. The flank away. See you later. They're trying to roll on Snowball. They have the dust. They don't. The RP will catch him out. Goes for the TP out. Is he going to make it? Yes. No. No. Yes. Dead. The arrow killed him. But they got the, uh, they got the rocks. They did, however, lose Miracle. 70 seconds. No buyback. What? Jesus Christ. Why does he have no buyback, Jeeves? It's broke, I think. Yeah, only a little bit of gold as well, so it's not that bad. Yeah, look at Shad's items. Good idea, dude. He's got the Quiver. The Enchanted Quiver. He's got the Hurricane Pike. Shadow Blade. Doesn't really have much, to be honest. That's just a proc, right? What to do? I mean, he's in Viz. They can't see him. Okay. Four stuff up to the high ground. They'll chase him in. Continue it forward. Oh, GH, that was so nice, but the double damage from Shad. Tiny with a buyback. Wee, is he going to find a kill here? Mind Control's here. Could get ready with a black hole. It's a nice barricade. Gonna have to force that BKB from Tanner. Look for that black hole, my boy. Bring it in. There it is. Take him down. You get the shot as well. Oh, GH. The place. The place. The buyback comes through from Magnus immediately on the Dry Ranger. They are coming back for this shit.
Tanner, he's in the pit. He wants this Roche. It's so low already. Kuro gets ready with the long blast. We comes in. Can he find a pin angle? No, but here comes. I mean, is that the first time you've seen the Cogmas? I'm not sure. The pop mark. GH gets in there. Snatches up the edge. Snatches up the cheese as well. We are with the BKB running. He's trying to fight in the river. It's a fish mount. It's a slog. It's a melee. There goes Crystal Maiden. Will eventually fall. Miracle comes in for this. The auto comes across, saves his awesome arm as he's ticking down from the poison, though. He will die. The buy box available. Tanner, this is his die box. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Forces him up onto the high ground somehow. The angle, though, great. He will come down. That's the buy box. Free for Miracle. He's on the scene. He's getting ready to try and shut down Toby. The toss forward. We is on top of the spear box. There they go. It's almost a team wipe. In fact, I think it is. Yeah, Bybot came through. And look at this. The boots of travel. They've had enough of your shit. We are finishing. 104 seconds without Mag. Let's find out if he's got Bybot, guys. Bybot check indeed. No Bybot, guys. 90 seconds. Here they go. Fortification comes through. Trying to buy some time. Crystal Maiden is coming up. The blink in. Arm is trying to make space. Fortification about to fall. You need to attack buildings. Attack the buildings. Don't do this to me again. Just do it. Right, they're attacking buildings, Jeeves. They are taking what are known as objectives in the Dota 2 game. Arm is healed up, ready to try to come back in here. Celery gets Avalanche. Keep hitting the buildings. Mind control a little bit low from that punch. He'll be just fine though, and GG comes through. Somehow versus this mag drive bullshit Nygma. They're just better team, better players. Yeah. That is RGQ1 as they say, just game. Damn, again, again, you win the team fight and then you take this, this, uh, you take advantage of it, you know, you force into them and then you realize they have no buybacks, you win the game. Ah, Viking are really good though and it feels super bad to see them lose after playing so well. Miracle 10, 5 and 6, Weeha, safe lane 13, 10 and 16. I think mind control though, I mean his black hole, oh, GH, GH, this guy, <laughs> he is the one that made that happen, sure mind control, all he had to do was press R, but he gets the avalanche combo, he throws Shad into the black hole at the same time, oh, GH, God. To for Enigma, I hope it doesn't just become a 3-0 guys. Viking do not deserve that. They definitely deserve to win at least one of these games. They have been fighting like lions today. <sighs> okay, I think that's probably going to be appropriate. I think maybe they might take a little bit of time just to um, settle their humors. You know, they're going to be a little bit. Yeah, they're going to be a little bit. A little bit. What's the word I'm looking for? Demoralized, probably the best word, just after losing that second game, especially when he had what felt like a broken, unbeatable strat, right? Anyway, I am General Jeeves. You guys follow me at Twitch TV slash Jeeves Dota TV. Ten subs today. Well, we only need four more. Four more subs today for the Jeeves cam. Um, I'm going to make a cut. I'll be right back, guys.
five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Great debate, mates. Welcome back to the We Play Bugavel Minor 2020 EU Closed Region. That's not EU Region Closed Qualifiers. It's Nigma versus Viking in a five match slugfest. I am General G because Nigma already up by two games, so this game could potentially be the last one for the day. Craft underway, the Rubik ban. No real surprises there. This time around, Nigma will ban out Tiny and the Winter Wyvern. There goes the Scare Bear. No Ursa for Nigma. Radiant team ban. Io and Jean. First pick, bench. Yeah. The counter picks. What did we see? Radiant the team. Crystal Maiden Tusk, maybe. Dusk. Okay. And then. Enigma want here. Normally we see them pick Wii's hero right about now. No, we actually saw GH's hero last time. Ten seconds remaining. According to some people, five LGD is a tier 5 team. Do you believe team LGD bad. will have a roster change? Uh, LGD always have roster change, don't they? Is that, that, is that the team that Shai Wei... No, he, he's the other one. He, does, does he, he, does, he does LGD, right? Shai Wei, the coach. Dire team no, ban. that's VG Gaming, Chiefs. Is it VG Gaming? FI. No, I don't. No, I don't think that team. I think China's just hard, right? Yeah, I think China's just hard. It's a hard region, and maybe they just weren't up to scratch with the patch. You know, but maybe Ten some kind of change in the coaching, or in one of the players, maybe that happens just to kind of shake things up a bit. Could be. Um, they ban out the invoker. They ban out the drought. Yeah, we're talking about LGD. We're talking about LGD. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think it's anything wrong with the team. I just think they're not practiced on the, the meta, right? They're, they they are a team that took a break, are they not? FY is amazing. There's no question about that. It's a god. Radiant team ban. So we see Nigma. Oh wait, they're gonna ban more wee heroes. Okay. Oh no. Dire team pick. Oh no. <laughs> I haven't seen his Earth Spirit play. Mm, is Earth Spirit relevant right now? Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Our shaker, yep, yep, yep. I see, I see the Viking Magnus. I'm wondering if Bloodseeker gets a game. Nigma not learning. Well, they beat the Magnus, right? They already they already beat it. And if they can do it a second time, because like you're in this, you're in this. Amazing situation, you're two games up, right? The enemy needs to win two games back to back, right? Oh jeez, you're just like a fucking god when it comes to draft. I know. Um, so you're two games up, right? So you can kind of experiment, you say, okay, bring the Magnus, we'll bring the Seeker. Right? 
I'll see you run now, bitch. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. You will give Nigma five hundred thousand bucks. What's a buck? Is that a dollar? Is that a euro? We need to. We need. We need more details than that. Five million. Okay. Five million if Nigma can beat Magnus twice. Dollars. Five million dollars. Got it. Bagged and tagged. I'm emailing Kudo right now. You won't go bankrupt. You're 100% confident in the Magnus. You're going to win. They're having a little bit of a think about this one. Do they go for like the cores, like the PA? Maybe PA is the play. PA Ember and put uh, Toby on the Magnus. God, it doesn't feel like it should be too up to, to Nigma right now. Oh my god. And that must be so taxing on Viking, right? They've done everything right. They'll get the Kunkka. Bloodseeker doesn't like a Kunkka. Yeah, they need something to protect the late game. And I don't think Blood is mid. My god, are we going to see Miracle Bloodseeker? Oh. Yeah, Viking are really hot shit, by the way. Like, the fact that they're in the minors and it's, you know, whatever. This team are going places if they stick together. Who do you think gets the first 10 kills? Huh. 10 seconds remaining. Enigma? 5 seconds remaining. What is the Undying doing here? Uh, I think he's one of the few heroes that does, if you do get x boat comboed, man. he can live through it. <laughs> I think that's basically the whole, the whole shenanigans for Underlord there. And uh, Mind Control actually, he had some decent, uh, some decent stolen damage, right, for the Atrophy Aura? 10 seconds remaining. seconds remaining he reckons first to 10 on viking well i mean here's the kill potential so bloodseeker if the lanes are here's how it goes if the lanes are messy bloodseeker is going to be able to do work right but you have kunkka slap with a crit magnus with the empower crystal maiden with a frostbite tusk with with attack team they ban out the shadow fiend they ban out the huskar and this looks like a safe lane Bloodseeker. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. He's going Kunk on Tanner, I think. Phantom Choose assassin. your hero. Yeah, so Kunkka is essentially the Ember Assassin style hero. Shad will go on the PA, as expected. It's old school Mag draft now, this time around. So Mag as the Accelerator, Toby on that hero for the We Play Bukal Minor 2020 EU Closed Qualifiers. Viking versus Enigma. Enigma? Viking versus Enigma. Best of five. Over on Viking, it will be Armas on the Task, Celery on the Crystal Maiden, Toby on the Magnus, Tanner on the Kunkka, and Shad on the Phantom Assassin in the safe lane. Over on Enigma. Ooh. Okay, it will be Kuru on the Vengeful Spirit, GH on the Elder Titan, We on the Bloodseeker, Mind Control 
on the Underlord Island, Miracle on the Templar, Assassin Ned. I am General G because follow me at Twitch TV slash Jeeves Dota TV. Let's get our Dota 2 on. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Damn, RDQ1, the big boy in the chat, rolling in with the subscription. Seven subs, guys. You get the unveiling of the Jeeves at ten. Oh, we're back. We are ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Ah, um, the big dog. Thank you very much, my man. Thank you, I appreciate it. We need to get those subs up. Get them subs up. Uh, Mag PA outfarms TA blood. If TA has a bad lane, it's over. It's fucking miracle on TA, dude. Alright, four wins in a row is Crystal Maiden. Looks good for Celery. Not gonna lie, 11 commands in 15 matches. He's gonna face off against the mighty mind control. 12 and 8 wins, losses in the last three. Mm, that's a bit of a... Tusk and Gank, he says. Tusk and Gank. I, red. You're all washed and up. I think Blood is super good against PA as well, though, right? Oh, yes. Kunka is a bit meh. Oh my god! No <laughs> I think that's one of the highest we've ever seen. Viking, 58% win chance going into it. I just have to imagine they are just full up on mangoes. Let's have a look here. Only three mangoes on on the radiant side. Okay. Um, versus mind control with two, Uroki with one. So they win. Yeah, I mean they win. There's no way Nigma can't even lose. They are winners of the mangoes. Because they crushed them the last game. He doesn't even have suitcase. It's GH. He's got like some sort of weird hammer. I thought he was using a staple gun earlier. It wasn't. It was just this weird hammer. But yeah, he can definitely control. He can definitely control that lane. E.T. though, it's a double melee range. Uh, double melee versus range. Wait, we're fighting? We are fighting. Mind control. I'm gonna pull them all in here. There's the shards. Kuro's there, ready with a stun to hold one of them back. Ah, mind control, just fine. Thank you very much, good oh sir. Boy, oh boy. This is gonna be fun. I have a solid zero grasp on this game. What, this particular match or Dota 2 in general? Because I think we're all in the, 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 the second category. Yeah, who's going to win? But the AI seems fairly confident. Oh, Jesus Christ. The e AI seemed fairly confident. Already. Viking got three bounties as well? The hell? Alright, Miracle versus Tanner in the mid lane. We will check the other lanes for kills, but this one should be quite spicy. Yo. GH with the T. <laughs> with the TP. What did he scale first, actually? Oh, he went with Blood Rage first so he could dominate the lane. Like, right, he's not planning on fighting, he's planning on CSing there. Down bottom, it's a sort of tri lane with Mind Control GH and Kuro versus the PA one. Oh, the stomp there, as well as the, uh, the fires coming in, clearing that creep wave, pushing it into the tower. Five and three versus, wait, what, two and one? GH doing some damage, has that spirit fairly deep in, no stomp yet of course, still only level 1. Oh, you could punch Artemis though. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh shit, it's not we on TA, on TA mid. <laughs> <coughs> I thought it was going to be we, that's fine, I figured it out. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I got you, man. I got you. Six and five versus three and three. Toby not going to get that same level of ultra farm that we saw earlier on. Armis, that's a little bit too close. You're going to get stapled in the face, my friend. Good lane matchup, Miracle. As refraction in a few seconds, maybe gets aggressive with that. We do sniper courier. Aramis' courier goes down. So many heroes down bottom right now. Six of them. It's decent though, maybe. The stomp is there. Mind Control keeps himself alive. GH now with the stapler going hard. Shot. Doom. He's dead. Now next. Got oh, he's trying to get out of here. Cool. Looking for the angle. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, it's on cooldown. That's a hay stream for TA as well. Feels like he's kind of accelerating in the mid. Just a little bit. Oh, look at these. Oh, he gets the last hit at least. Bringing in a mango. On the salve to heal up so he can stay aggressive. Okay, uses up the combo to bring down the shiznits. Uh, how much does mind control have? So he's sitting on 4 by one has Tango. I think one of them has... Uh... No, actually, that's it. 4 by one so what, 12 when he's regening with Tango? Has 30 stolen damage at the moment. Oh, 3 0 easy. I think so as well. I think they're already making a bit of a meal of this one. Vikings, that is. Oh, something stuck to my finger. That's cool. It's all good in the feed. I need a new mouse mat, guys. I'm using this one for bloodborne virus infections. Man, it's really manky. You can't underestimate them, though. That is very true. They have performed super well. Miracle getting a double damage mid, though. Yeah, they beat them yesterday. They beat them good and proper yesterday. Two solid games, actually. The second game and the third game. Solid play from Viking GG. That was with Wii mid, though. This is a different kind of prospect here. We going to be quite happy with this lane. He's getting more farm than the Magnus. It's basically a free lane. You can just self-heal yourself up. It's all good. Got himself the buckler. Going into phase boots. I guess brown boots is just going to pick up the side shopper. They're already on the way. Oh, shit. No, dude. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. He's not going for your courier, bro. He's going for the creep. It's fine. He doesn't see it. Down here. GH with another beautiful stomp. The whole shot in place. Good junk. He goes down, Armis in trouble now as well. One more strike, he'll be fine. Jeez, five minute fighting wins have spawned. Viking will find one of them, perhaps three. Coming through for Nigma right now. He was slowed up good there. I mean, there's one, there's two. One more for the taking. Mind control, will you do the honors, good friend? He will. Nice pull by Celery though. The catapult wave should double things up. Mind Control's coming over to cancel. Even um, cancel contest. And even GH is running the spirit through, getting some good vision there. Shad not too bothered. Finally getting a little bit of time in the lane. To get some XP. He's 24 and 4 for God's sake. Leave him alone, the poor guy. He's no threat to you. Yo, Magnus, though. How are you getting on, bro? Six, level six already at six minutes in. Feels good. Oh, we're getting a rotation from Task. He's going over to the mid lane. Maybe it's time to gag down on Miracle. The angle of approach is a little bit off, though. Is he just going top? I th don't think they could have. Ah, Miracle is in trouble. The crew is here with the save. Doesn't have their fraction for one more second. He gets it off. Oh, 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 get wrecked. Oh, Bob, get the cover, Bob. <laughs> He's fine. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. That's 100% what they want. Completely. Alright, here comes we ready to take off the uh, the old clarity. He's looking for the TP out in sad times. This blood sticker things. Everyone gets three P three TPs now. Come on, Ice Frog. Yeah, I think the farm is just gonna be too much. The PA and Mag once they do get online. A bit of a clock, yeah. If the game's not over by 28 minutes, Nigma might start to struggle here a little bit. Oh, the kill to bring him down. Nice, nice. Link forward, Kuro. Kuro just fine. The stomp's waiting. G8 ready. Shad still looking for that kill though. The courier comes in. Nice block. Kuro will finally die. Does have the illusion though. And now Shad trying to blink away, trying to get out of there. GH with a staple gun. He goes in. Ooh. Shad dead again. 0 3 and 2. Well, I mean, we saw this after Weeha and he came back from it nicely enough. He is here actually talking of Weeha. He's here, jeez. He's got a rupture available. And so is Kunka Tanner now here as well. Giving, oh, uh, giving Miracle free space in the mid lane with the TA. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, oh, PA is going mid. Yeah, Shad level 4 at 8 minutes into the game. We hot. I mean, he has haste. It's going to be fun. I need Puda to use Tanner. He's trying to make something happen down here. GH gets X pulled back into the boat combo. Ooh, it's a stinger. He doesn't quite get that stomp off, unfortunately. Man overboard. Uh, it's not working that way, though, is it? I mean, this is... Well, I mean, I'm... I guess, I guess. I think we should switch over to network, get a better idea of what's actually happening here. Yeah, Bloodseeker's quite far ahead. Well, he's quite far ahead of Magnus anyway. Okay, they pull Kuro back in. This could be a nice swift kill. Wait, the stun. Nicely played. The rupture goes out on Magnus as well. Kuro dodging left, right, and center. GH is here to help out as well. Toby, you don't want to skewer like that, buddy. Hello, this is Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Like, so, I think the situation unfolded because they picked Tanner, they picked Tanner the Magnus, it was for Mag it was for Tanner. But then when they see the Bloodseeker, they're like, this is not the play. Yeah, Shad needs- <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jesus, I am so sorry, guys. Damn. Shad needs level 18 like yesterday. Good luck with that, it's only 10 minutes into the game. Mind control ready for the 10 minute switcheroo. And Tanner are going to do the same thing top. They'll grab that one up. One for one. Wait, Kuro with a slip through. They'll actually find three bounty runes on Nigma. That will boost that 4k net worth lead. I mean, they are and they aren't. Kunka's still up here. Rupture on to Tanner, trying to get out here the silence. I mean, it's not that big of a deal right now. Ooh, okay, I mean, they do try and throw the torrent back. Kuro, he's here by himself, went a little bit far forward. There's the pit of Malice. Toby looking for the way out. Rupture already being used this time around. GH is here as well. And they'll bring through that deny. But there we go. Look, that's one tower advantage to Viking GG, even while they're in the doldrums right now. Yeah. I mean, it's level 1 Rupture, right? He's level 10, he's got the Bracer, he's gonna be fine for... It's so garbage now, the damage is just actual shit. And I don't like the passive either. This attack speed over damage thing. It was quite annoying really early though. If you had like a couple of points of blood rage, then you go hit a creep and you take like 90% of its HP and you're like, shit. And then it just dies before you get the last hit. Okay. 
we down here trying to make sure they get the other shrine back toby up top gonna tp in they're gonna fight this one we on his own they're gonna wrap nice play with the smoke snowball in they'll drop the silence good connection on that the shard will not connect but it doesn't matter and shard level eight all of a sudden what halfway to what halfway to goddamn um uh, uh, oh my god what's it called Desolator. And Miracle, he's trying for the early Roche though. Okay. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Miracle sitting mid can show me his items. He has Deso finished Dyer's up already. He can Blink Dagger next. Double Wraith Bond as well as Iron Wood Tree, Full Wand, and Treads. Power Treads there as well. How are they supposed to kill heroes, Jeeves? Um. So this guy, so he, I mean, Bloodseeker kill this, 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 and this, just not this. I mean, he can probably kill Kunkka when he's got some items, but Kunkka's going to be a fat boy, because he was mid. Dome of Knowledge on Shad. You think it was used? Maybe. Should have like a little indicator that tells us. They're down bottom, pushing in, trying to make a little bit of an equalization on the tower pressure right now. We'll leave the last hit for Wee, very nicely played by Mind Control, fortification back up, Celery ready on the high ground, Artemis as well. And only do anything here, just steal some last hits, jeez. Mid lane, Miracle, he's off farming the jungle, looking for his Blink Dagger. Can they find some quick kills though? I think they have, with the Vengeful Spirit and the two swaps in the stun. They have got kill potential, definitely. And we he's gone for Drums Endurance phase orb of venom this time around. 378 movement speed and thirsted. It's pretty slow. What why is Kunka so slow? Hmm. Was that with the proc? No. <laughs> Does Miracle have Desk yet? No, but he does have Desolator. And Blink. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's ready. He's online. 14 minutes in, guys. Blink, Deso, online. 9k net worth on Miracle. He's level 15. We thought PA was catching up. I mean, he's getting the acceleration, right, from the Magnus. He's almost got a Desolator. Miracle BKB, um, yeah, for the X, I think that's decent. I think that's okay. X Torrent combo could be a little bit dangerous. Vanguard finished up for Mind Control. He's a tanky boy. Looking for Crimson Guard next. Kuro, how are you doing, my friend? Has full treads. Uh, looks like he's building um, Dragon Lance, actually. Wait, are they fighting? Someone's fighting somewhere. No, it's just the Bounty Runes. Viking take two top, the two bottom should be mind control and we that find them. It's got the essence ring backpack, he's got a flask as well, like free bottle lads. <coughs> That's better than a bottle because it's not cancelled. He used a charge there, ooh. You mean to do that? CM gets just brutally brought down and just a flash second there. Here she goes, she comes running in. Hey guys, I'm Crystal Maiden. I give everyone mana! Okay, the rupture up. They got him what held in here. There's a swap back. As you see, it still does very little damage though. Nice RP though. Good control. Miracle comes back in, was forced back. He'll find that kill on Tanner. Finally, the buyback comes through. He's going to TP and Shad in here trying to fight this as well. Miracle, they've got the X marks to spot him. I don't think he was expecting to be pulled back in so quickly. He has refraction up though, geez. Here come the rest of the boys. GH and Mind Control gliding in there with the body block, keeping Miracle alive. He gets his blink dagger off. He's over to the other side. And GH, maybe he dies. Here comes the silence. Maybe it's a dieback for Kuka. He needs to be careful. Nygma, what a play. GH with a stomp. Tanner, that's a buyback for him. Nice. 
Nice set uh, frostbite. They're trying to chase him in here. The silence. The die bot is complete. The snowball protects Tusk for a few seconds before he buys back. Tries to come in the fight. Tries to throw some more bodies on the pile, more like. He'll get through his blockage. RMS, all of them are coming for you. Any last words, my friend? Guess not. Double kill. No blood for you. I'm seeing red. Radiant's middle tower and it's is under amazing. attack. Yeah, so first to 10 kills did go the way of, uh, of Nigma. It's just a lack of experience, Poopy, honestly. Like, um, you just draw, you have to draw the line at some point, right? You have to just say, no, we're not getting any more out of this. And I feel like they threw a, an extra two or three bodies on there that didn't need to, that didn't need to happen. Like, they want a man fight, that's their problem, right? It's in their psyche, they want to get in there and they want to fight. That's not how you play Dota 2. You play Dota 2 by being a bit of a dick. <laughs> Ambushing the enemy. Taking the easy fights, pushing in, um, pushing in towers and objectives. It's a clusterfuck if you try five man, five v five. Especially if your timing's off, you know. <laughs> a big captain presence, maybe misery. Yeah, what do you think? Misery could be an option. He's he's a free agent right now. He's a good captain. How did he die? Oh oh oh! Come on. Fuck's sake. Yeah, actually, holy shit! Thinking about that, who do you who's their captain at the moment? Though the captain at the moment is uh salary, right? Oh no, he's 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 touch man. Who do you, I mean, who do you get out? Maybe just bring him in as a coach. Maybe just bring him in as coach. I mean, he's such a fantastic player, though. What are they exchanging? What would it be? I mean, the Tusk guy, he's good, right? Aramis is really good. I think Aramis is captain, actually. Or maybe not. Maybe it's Celery. But essentially, you're trading out one of these guys for Misery. I mean, Tanner's good. Tanner is really good. No questions about that. What is Miracle doing here? He has Aegis, has Deso, has Monkey King. What is he? What is happening here? Oh, is he just waiting? He's waiting for some poor sap to come and clear the camp. Is that right? What is he doing? He's gone AFK. He's getting himself an energy drink. Chappie has broken into his house. I'm taking control and showing them how you should actually play TA. <laughs> the LGD, LGD didn't change their roster yet. The BKB pops off, he'll dodge it out. And that's pretty much what you want the BKB for, alright? He won't get boated up. What's up, Salsa Trace? Welcome back to the stream, my friend. Are you having a good day? Are you are you loving it? You Nigma fanning up today? Nigma balls? No, it's Nigma. Or maybe Sugma. I don't know, but they're doing all right today. They're definitely Nigmas today. Like we're all Nigmas today on this blessed uh, on this blessed day. Oh, that's a great film, by the way. That is a great film. No problem, dude. No problem. I'm always curious what you guys have been up to. Are there any more matches today? Yes, but not immediately. I don't think we'll dip into CIS, but I believe there's NA later on tonight. We could get some of that. Or I'll check out C, not C, um, South America. That could be quite good. Yeah, everything's good with me today, man. I got a bill today from eight years ago for a thousand, a thousand pounds. So I'm having a shit day. <laughs> well, I cast another match. You know, if Nigma win this, I won't be casting anything for another hour or two. I think. There'll be like a, there'll be like a break. And then uh, it'll be either SA or NA, depending on what time I get back. He'll throw the boat in. Okay, Kuro's a little bit out of position here, but he's that beefy boy. You know.
Oh, they're ch they're mm, you can't chase. They're too far. Come on. This is a freebie though. Shod. Oh shit. Oh fuck. He fell for the the, the, the miracle drop. No, he gets him again. He's gonna be fine. No rupture in range. Remember when Rapture had decent range? I remember. Fucker. Yeah, literally was the government. Yeah, literally fucked the government, honestly. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Are they not through? Are Geek Farm and TNC not already qualified? Yo, RDQ1, that's fucked, man. Similar situation for me, but like, I've never even heard of this. Like, they just like sent me a letter out of the blue, oh, eight years ago, you was a thousand dollars. And it's like, wait, what? And they're like, we've already taken like, it was 1,500, I think. And they're like, we've already taken like $250, 250 bucks or whatever. And I'm like, when? Did, like, this is the first time I'm fucking hearing about it. No, C is amazing, dude. C is an amazing region. It's just so big. It's difficult for any team to fully fr fully flourish there. Because you're talking... C is massive. It's like 3 billion people. C needs better organizations. I think C needs more competitions. Honestly. I think C needs more regions. I wouldn't mind if there was like an India-Pakistan region. And then like, um, you know, like a Vietnam kind of one as well. And then another one, maybe three regions for soon. And China needs Splinter too. Yeah, such huge populations. Like 75% of the world's population lives in that bottom triangle. Well, another 1% is in Africa or some shit. And then the rest of it's just divided between Europe and America and Russia. In South America, I guess. Nobody lives in South America, jeez. <laughs> Caribbean pro team, I'm down one. Okay, that was an interesting swap. Not sure about that one. My mouse has gone a little bit crazy. They're trying to chase in here. Nice RP. Where's the crystal maiden? Oh. 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 Oh, nice RP at the stomp. You mean, geez. Damn. Toby got it. Brought down. Evisceration. Left, right, center. The CM. Oh, guys. Whoa. He's blitzed as well. Never mind that. Here we go. TP out. The two cores survive. Negma. They are ready to push in. You're from Myanmar. Yo, they don't accept playing games. That's, yeah, that's a bit weird. Like, video games are any games. No, I agree with the RDQ one. That's 100% the situation. They definitely root against each other. Imagine India and Pakistan are in the same um, competition together. Yeah. All right, into the mid lane, the pressure. It's in some Marvel Vikings. This is such a terrible way to go down for them. 420, 21k net worth right now. And they just have to watch their minor dreams crumble. Fuck, man. Okay, okay. I mean, they're going to go in. Do throughout the silence. Connects quite well on the back line. Shot. He's level 17. Never did get that level 18. He needed it so badly. And it's they're just too tanky with that Crimson Guard. Toby can't get anything done either. We gonna chase them down. GG's gonna come through and oh what a heartbreak for Viking. They did not deserve that game three at all. Hey my dog with a 10 pound. Yeehaw! Nice. Very nice. Who was the MVP that time round, Jeeves? Well, let me think about what we're good. We're lucky we got the goddamn games thing here. Uh, hmm. Who do you guys think? I think Miracle, maybe. I think Mind Control. I mean, they just stomped them. Kuro for the draft. Thank you for joining me, uh, Poopy Pooper who Poops. Nigma Balls. That's right. My Nigmas. My Nigmas. Uh, <laughs> oh, I imagine being scared to say the wrong word there. When I was in World of Warcraft, there was a there was a guild on my server, and it was called Nagas Belong and Sa and Slave Pens, which I thought was quite funny because Slave Pens is a Naga dungeon. Oh man, did they get banned so hard for that?
They go on so hard for that attack. They killed the force to change their name. Um, okay, so it's 3-0 for Nygma. Finally, maybe starting to see some form from the lads. Um, simple. All you have to do is put Weeha, not in mid, bring Miracle back. So, ah, do we see even a team change for Nygma before the miner starts? Potentially. Maybe. MVP Miracle? No, MVP, uh... Hero for the draft. MVP for the series though, Miracle. Yeah, I mean, he put the whole game on his back. Yeah, absolutely. True. Um, that's us for now. As far as I'm aware, like I say, I think we'll be back later for South America. South America. Don't you know that fortune cookies are an American invention? That's why they're hollow and leave a foul taste in your mouth. Um, Wikipedia. Uh, South America. Oh, the game's being played right now. Fury Esports versus Gorilla's Pride. I think we'll leave that one for Moxie. North America. A little bit of a break for Jeeves in two hours and 42 minutes. Yeah, I'll be back for J Storm versus Fighting Pandas, I think. Wait, what happens here? So they, it's just a final, and then they win. One of them qualifies. Interesting, because it's different. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm much as gracias. Appreciate RDQ won the real MVP of the stream with his subscription. I know, right? I know, I know. I thought it was beautiful as well, but they banned it because Nagas can sound like another word. Shout out to Hunger Nation for the follow. If you guys want to hit me with your Twitch Prime, that's cool. But like I say, I'll be back later. Hope to see you then. If not, enjoy your weekend, guys. Much love. I shall see you later. I'm going to run one minute of ads. If you want to stay, it's fine. If you don't. Whatever. It's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Not your mom. Put money on Furia. They're playing right now, dude. They are playing right now. Or is it five minutes? Yeah, the lobby's up. They haven't. They haven't started. Yet.